Hey everybody, this is Alex, and today what we're doing is continuing our Xcode tests, this time for mobile development, and we're gonna see how quickly the iOS simulator pops up after building a project, and we're gonna do this with a brand new Xcode project for iOS, and we're also gonna do this using an existing large iOS project, and that's WebKit, which I built in one of my previous videos, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out, because that's a pretty huge build. Let's jump in here. What we're comparing today is the MacBook Pro versus MacBook Pro, and this has an M1 Pro chip in it, this 14-inch machine. This machine, the 16-inch, has an M1 Max chip in it, so that's really what we're comparing here. Pro versus Max. I don't expect we'll see a big difference here, folks, but there might be a big difference between these new machines and the M1, and there's definitely going to be a difference between these machines and the previous Intel generation of MacBook Pro, which I have available to me, so if you do want to see those, let me know in the comments down below. All right, so I'm going to create a brand new Xcode project. We're going to go to the iOS side, and it's going to be an app. Next, Let's call it a nice creative name like My App One. And we're going to use Swift UI. Sure, language Swift and organization will be com. Uh, Nuvius. We'll put it up in my code folder and let's create that. And of course, I'll do the exact same thing over here on the Max machine. So, just the basic Hello World project on both of these machines. I'm gonna hit the play button at the same time so that we can see visually when that simulator will pop up. Now right now it's targeting iPod Touch and that's fine as long as it's the same on both of them. I'm gonna hit run here, let's go. All right, so it's building and it shouldn't take that long because it's not very big. There's the simulator, it popped up first behind Xcode unfortunately. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> but it popped up first over there. Okay, anyway, it, it's behind there, but it, the actual app started up first on the Max. There's that Hello World right there, and we're waiting for Hello World to pop up over here on the Pro. There it is. So a few seconds difference there, interesting. And uh, just for those of you that are curious, I do have my power settings set to automatic for the energy mode on the battery. However, I do have both of these machines plugged in right now. I'm gonna turn this off and let's target another SIM. And I am gonna target the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Not that it matters what simulator you're targeting, but I just wanna target a different one to see another simulator pop up and hopefully we'll get a clear visual indication of which one popped up first. Okay. Clearly we have a winner folks in both of these scenarios and it's the M1 Max chip. It simply pops up the simulator way faster by a couple of seconds and it starts off the program that's running a bit faster. So while this is a Hello World app, it doesn't matter that much, but in a larger application that might matter. So that brings me to the next test. Let's close it down and close this one down where you don't need Xcode running anymore because we're gonna trigger this through the command line now. Now, if you've seen my WebKit build, it's one of the big ones. Uh, that took a while to build. We ran this command line right here. Now I wanna run this on the iOS simulator. And here's the command on how to do that. By the way, I'll link to this down below, or you can just uh, search for WebKit and you'll find this repo if you wanna do this yourself. Silly me, I think I need to build this for iOS in order for it to actually run on iOS. So I'll be back. This might take a while. I know you probably didn't notice because the time didn't, uh, the time flew for you. It was cut out, but it took this machine 13 minutes to do the build for mobile, for embedded devices of WebKit, and this machine 17 minutes. And this is pretty consistent with the results that I got for that huge WebKit build video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. I explain everything from the beginning. Now, we're not really here to do that. We are here to check out how the iOS simulator pops up, how quickly, rather, uh, I should say. Let's go. Boom. And the sim pops up first here on the Max. And I'm expecting this one's gonna also win as far as the startup speed of the app itself. There you go. The app is up, running, WebKit on mobile, and uh, it started up here now. So you can see the difference there. Not a huge difference, but nonetheless it's there. Let's take a look at the time. And uh, here, 12.2 seconds on the Max. 
15.9 seconds on the Pro. There's your difference. All right, folks, if you found this video interesting or entertaining, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more developer focused content, testing these new machines and otherwise. Thanks for watching. See you next time.